Welcome to a new episode from Perfect English Podcast. Today we're going to talk about business and we're going to focus on problems at work. Some of the problems are going to be problems with the building, with the equipment, and other problems are going to be problems with people, something like bullying, harassment, and discrimination. So let's get to it and let's start talking about health and safety problems. Now, we have some health and safety issues for people at work. Now, the first problem is the temperature. You might think about this and see that there is no problem, but there is actually a problem. In a workplace where we don't have air conditioning, where employees, for example, are exposed to long periods of heat or cold, that can affect their health. So this is actually a problem. And companies need to have air conditioning to deal with this problem. And now the second problem we have is passive smoking. Now, almost everywhere in all working environment in the world, smoking is prohibited. But some places, smoking is still allowed. Maybe a few places. But if smoking is allowed in these places, that presents an issue and a problem that can affect the health and safety of other employees through passive smoking. And passive smoking means that you are not the smoker, but you're sitting in a place where other people smoke and you are inhaling the smoke that comes out of their cigarettes. Now, this may be a potential problem as well. And the next problem we're going to talk about is repetitive strain injury, or the abbreviation to that is RSI. And people who suffer from RSI have pain in their hands and arms as a result of repeating similar movements over a long period of time, usually as part of their job. So this could be typing for a very long time without having an ergonomic setting in the office. That can cause also another health problem. You might look at some of the problems and think that these are not serious. And maybe they're not, but... They are problems and they cause issues to your health and safety. And now for the next problem, which is a little bit more serious, we're talking about dangerous machinery like saws and cutters and stuff like that. Now, these can cause real problems, especially when the staff is not trained well to use such dangerous machinery and if they're not wearing proper safety gear. So dangerous machinery is a necessity in some jobs But the idea is it can cause a problem or it can be the source of problem at work if we don't have the right safety gear and if the staff using the machinery is not trained well. And the next problem, which is equally dangerous, is hazardous substances. And these are the substances that can cause burns, poisoning, suffocation, etc. And these need to be handled with care. There are a lot of regulations as to how to use these substances, especially if they are necessary, and how to train the staff to handle these substances safely and securely. And finally, we have the fire hazards. And that is almost everywhere. A fire can happen in any place. But of course, some factories or workplaces are more exposed to fires than other places. So special precautions and training as well is needed to avoid fire hazards. Now, if one or a couple of these things I mentioned, or even all of them exist in a place, they contribute to a bad working environment. Now, the government sends officials called health and safety inspectors to make sure that factories and offices are safe places to work. They check what companies are doing about things like heating and air conditioning, first aid and fire precautions. So remember, we have some important words or phrases that we learned when we talked about health and safety. We have health and safety issues, which are the problems. We talked about passive smoking, repetitive strain injury, dangerous machinery, hazardous substances and fire hazards. We talked about bad working environment, which is a place that has one or more of these dangerous things. And we talked about health and safety inspectors. These are the people the government sends to make sure that factories and offices are safe places to work. And now we come to other kinds of problems. And for me, these are more serious problems. Because 
These are not obvious. These are not things you can see. Now, for the inspectors, if they come to a company, maybe they can spot all of the problems we talked about earlier very easily. If there are no fire precautions, for example, if the company doesn't have enough fire extinguishers, that is easily spotable. But what if we have problems with some people, some personal issues, treating other people unfairly or even cruelly? That is not obvious and it is not easy to spot, especially when there are inspectors around. People who do this, they make sure they do it in secret. The first problem I'd like to talk about is bullying. Now, some people might think that bullying belongs to schools and to schools only, but that is a big mistake because bullying continues on in companies and the effects of bullying at work are as devastating as they are at schools. Now, if someone such a manager bullies an employee, they use their position of power to hurt or threaten them. For example, verbally, someone who does this is a bully. So it is practically the same like we have it in schools. And when it's not acceptable at schools, it's also not acceptable in companies for somebody to use their position of power to hurt or threaten people. And sometimes people think that it should be physical abuse to be called bullying. Actually, it is not. Verbal bullying can be a lot worse than physical bullying. Not saying that physical bullying is okay, of course. And then we come to another problem, which is also a very serious problem. And unfortunately, it is not an uncommon problem. We see it almost everywhere. We hear about it all the time. And it is one of the worst problems we may have in a company. And that is sexual harassment. Now, sexual harassment is when an employee behaves sexually towards another in a way that they find unwelcome and unacceptable. And the related verb here is harass. Obviously, everybody agrees, or at least that's what I think everybody should do, that sexual harassment is one of the worst problems and the most morally degenerate problem we may have in a company, especially when it happens from a person who is also using their position of power, like a manager, to harass one of the employees who are working for them. But that is not all. We have other problems as well. We have other problems as well besides bullying and harassment. We may have discrimination problems. What's the meaning of discrimination? Now, if people are treated differently from others in an unfair way, they are discriminated against. We have different types of discrimination. If a woman is unfairly treated just because she is a woman, she is a victim of sex discrimination. In many organizations, women complain about the glass ceiling that allows them to get to a particular level, but no further. Now, the glass ceiling here is meant by the invisible ceiling. Nobody talks about that as an official policy for the company, but everybody knows that women in some companies can get to certain positions, but no further. And this is what we call the glass ceiling. And that's why we use the word glass. It is the invisible ceiling women cannot get past, but officially the company lies about this and say there are no limits and women can get to the top positions in the company. Well, this is wrong. If this is the case in one of the companies, so we have a discrimination problem in the company and to be specific, it is a sex discrimination problem. And we have other kinds of discrimination as well. If someone is treated unfairly because of their race, they are a victim of racial discrimination or racism. If people are treated unfairly because of their skin color. Now, offensive remarks about someone's race are racist. And the person making them is a racist. And this is one of the worst kind of discrimination. And when I say the worst kind, I keep thinking about every kind of discrimination is actually the worst kind of discrimination. But unfortunately, some people do it anyway. Some people are racists and some people do commit some racist actions. Anyway, away from the politics of it, let's get back to what we're focusing on here. We're talking about different kinds of discrimination. We talked about sex discrimination when you treat women unfairly, and we talked about racial discrimination, when you treat other people unfairly because of their race or skin color. 
Now, in the U.S., affirmative action is when help is given in education and employment to groups who were previously discriminated against. And in Britain, affirmative action is known as equal opportunities. So these are words or phrases we use to talk about this kind of help and education for the people who were discriminated against. Remember, it is called affirmative action in the U.S. and equal opportunities in Britain. Some companies have a dignity at work policy covering all the issues we talked about. So the next time you think of problems at work, do not only think about how hot it is and the air conditioning is not working or if you don't have enough safety equipment at work, which are problems, of course. Think about other kinds of problems that are kind of invisible. These problems like bullying, harassment, or discrimination. I hope you learned enough about problems at work, and the next time when you think about problems at work, I hope you have a wider perspective to what that means. This is your host, Danny, saying thank you very much for listening to another episode from Perfect English Podcast. I will see you tomorrow in another episode. Thank you very much. Thank you.